This is the Church of God, Lomoai and Nandeva Church. So, you're watching this video, we want you to worship the Lord. Uh, John 4, chapter 4, verse 24, it said, God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, we can't do any worship to the Lord. So we just want to ask our God in this time, we before our worship. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, your love coming toward us every time. Lord, this word you created perfectly, but we come in sin. And on, we have no power to get out of this sin, Lord. That's why you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us, Lord. That's why we have a strength to reach out to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you gave us this church so we can gather and we worship you. Lord, we can acknowledge you are here. Every people's heart would they do someone who uh, worship in this time lord we want to sing a song in your spirit and we want to pray in the name of jesus and want to listen the word of god the truth lord this time something will ch will be changed in our heart and make us know more and more about you from the bible and we can make my mind uh, follow the word of god and change our heart. Lord, miracle is came from here in this worship. Thank you so much. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
morning is taken from the gospel of mark chapter 4 verses 36 to verse 41 and it's it's a very familiar passage and it's about when jesus is with his disciples during a storm so let's just go through the passage together i will read this it says leaving the crowd crowd behind they took him along that is jesus just as he was in the boat, there was also other boats with him. 
A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet and be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Let's open with a word of prayer. Let's pray. <coughs> Our loving Father, we thank you um, that yes, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the Lord of, over the storms and the winds and all that we have. Lord, we thank you for your word this morning, that Lord, you'll speak to us again as we would like to go more closer to you at these difficult times of our life where we cannot meet with other believers. But Lord, we thank you that we can still experience your love and your blessings in our life. So help us to see your word this morning. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if we look at the uh, previous uh, reading, um, there are parables that Jesus tells his disciples. And uh, parables are earthly stories with heavenly meanings. And while Jesus is talking with his disciples, um, they are able to hear the heart of Jesus and the teachings of Jesus. And many of us have experienced in our life when we are at schools uh, or where we are in universities, Bible colleges, we, there is a period where we sit in class and we study. And then there is a session where we are sent out to experience or to test what we have learned. And I believe in this passage this morning, when Jesus is teaching his disciples the parables, it is when he is having session with his students and that is his disciples. And now it is the time where the things that they have learned, they get to test it and experience it. And this is during a storm. And the Bible reminds us, or the teaching this morning reminds us, that they were leaving up behind the crowd and there were other boats with him and the disciples of Jesus. One of the things that we also do understand is that the disciples of Jesus were fishermen and they had the knowledge of what the sea weather would be. Would it be good for them to go fishing? Would it be good for them to go or cross to the other side and I believe they were more confident and they knew um, that that particular day there would not be any storm but the Bible says as they were crossing through there came a storm and it also reminds us that in the middle of the storm Jesus was sleeping Jesus was sleeping while his disciples had the, um, had the opportunity to really experience or really to practice what they have learned. And the Bible says that they had failed. They had no idea what to do, even knowing that Jesus was with them on that boat. They quickly ran out to Jesus, woke Jesus up and reminded them reminded Jesus if Jesus really cares for them. Jesus in respond to the question in verse in verse uh, 38 it says Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion the disciples woke him and said to him teacher don't you care? In response to that what does Jesus do? Without saying a word he got up rebuked the wind 
and said to the waves, Quiet and be still. The years that we have been in our spiritual life, in our Christian life, we have heard sermons in our church from the pastors. We have studied the word together. And as we look around again, this is the time where we are sent out to really experience or really to test what we have learned about the life of Jesus and our faith on him. Whatever it may be COVID-19 or the difficult moments in our life, this is really a testing of your faith and my faith. And as we believe that the storm had not lasted long, Jesus stood up and calmed it down. I believe the things that we are going through, you are going through, there will be a time when all will be calm. But the question that we will ask ourselves, have you or have I passed the test? The opportunity that Jesus has given us, have we failed him or have we passed him? You and I, we need to understand that Jesus is with us. Jesus is with you at this point of time. What will the result be? I hope that we will say by faith, if Jesus is with me, I do not need to be afraid. I hope that this situation, the difficult moments of your life, will grow you in your faith. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for reminding us that things happen, it's for a season, it happens for a short time. But Lord, we thank you for the opportunities that we get. Pitam dhaniwad dete. Jo cheez hamare jivan mein hota hai. Jiske karan pita jo hamara jo jivan hai, jo hamara vishwa se, wo aap mein aur bada sake. Lord, we thank you that yes, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We pray, O oh Lord, that we will be victorious people. We would be able to say, that yes, we have won. And we know that Jesus is with us. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we have in Fiji to grow our faith and to experience you knowing that yes, you do care about each one of us. Lord, we thank you and we continue to praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, let's finish this time with benediction. Let's uh, again uh, give thanks. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each and every one of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.